Okay, folks, final part of the drill. Then we can string it all together later. So we've done one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, number six finished here in this position. So it's nice and relaxed, relaxed hands. Sword is horizontal to the ground, comes back to the ground, okay? So we've done one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go through a minute. So number seven is just a thrust out from this, this position. Again, all the rules, rules, rules apply. I follow the weapon, I reach out and I pull back. So it's thrust and back. And as you thrust, you get to the extension of the thrust. And as you pull it back, turn this hand down and bring your left hand behind the sword. Then bring it back to your body. So your left hand is going to finish rough out like this. And you're going to be finishing here. So from this position, you're going to be reaching out. Bring it back here. Okay. So again, from here, number seven. Bring it back. And I'd aim for, again, you imagine the person in front of you. So aim for sort of neck, head, height, something like that. So you're actually thrusting slightly upwards. Bring it back. Then number eight, you're thrusting again. You're thrusting out. Again, slightly upwards. But you can choose the target you want. But for the purpose of this drill, you do this as if you're aiming sort of head and neck area. Okay? So that's seven and eight. So from here, out, in, out. Okay. Now there's one more about the number nine. Now to be fair, this wasn't actually part of the original the original drill. Just something I did because it felt really comfortable. Almost did it by accident. And it's the only time in the drill where your hands stay out. So you notice all this drill is hands out, hands in, hands out, hands in, hands out. So it's always out and in. Get those hands back out the way. Okay because that's teaching you to keep these safe your main targets is somewhere here but the easiest targets are always these things so we've done at the back seven eight and number nine we're going to do a straight down cut because it's very comfortable from this position just push the handle up bring the sword around down and bring it back so you're going to finish in this other position okay Again, we show that from the side. Number eight finishes here. Push the handle up, bring it round, cut down. Okay. Put my feet long, but so you can see it easier. Okay. Up, round, down. And here. But again, so you're thrust out. You're doing a cut, cut down, and this one comes straight down the middle. Not actually useful. Probably not something you'll see in any of the treats or whatever, specifically that. It's just that from that position, it's a quick, easy thrust and cut. And for the purpose of the drill, it's nice and sim simple. And it just nicely finishes off and gets the hands back into a some form of recognisable guard position, ready to go again. So that's the, this is seven, eight, nine. Okay, so from here, you've got seven, eight, nine. We'll just show it on the side. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Um, tell me if it doesn't. Thanks, guys.